So this is the main grounds for the hospital. They use this for some of the active life programme as well. I'd suffered with depression for quite a long time, but I'd never sought any help. Came to a head one night and ended up on the top of a bridge over a motorway and got taken by the police to a place of safety. When I was 13, I was taken in the Mental Health Act on a section two. When I was 18, I was officially diagnosed with having emotionally unstable personality disorder. You know, experts by experience have got a very unique perspective, both from having the lived experience of being in a service, but also now working within them and actually literally seeing both sides of the fence. Um, people with lived experience have unique insights and can have a level of trust to be able to capture more feedback when going out to the ground and actually speaking with people, letting someone know that you've actually been where they've been and actually been in their shoes, been in services. And I will go out and I will ask the service users if they want to do anything, if there's any concerns that they have, do they feel like they've been supported. There's so many different things that you get involved with, um, like you're working with the service users, trying to understand how they feel about the service that they're in, working with the staff members that are ward-based and then around the sites as well. And it brings the power of having somebody helping you that has been in your shoes, that has been an inpatient, that has lived the restrictions that them service users are currently going through. I think it's being able to advocate for them and try and help the situation. So it means that we can intervene earlier. So the sort of canary in the mine analogy, if you wish, it sort of tells us actually, well, if this is the experience that patients are having, what, what's going on there, we need to go and look further, which means we've become much more proactive. Having the lived experience voice at the table makes a crucial difference into outcomes in terms of how the discussions flow um, with decision makers. Beneficial for to see somebody that's been in the same situation or a similar situation to them. They can see that there is hope for them. On so many different metrics, we've just seen such a, a positive story. And if I'm helping people, that keeps me well and that keeps me sane because I get to do my proactive, better ways of dealing with things now and one of them has been work. It's not a tick box exercise and we can't do this in a tokenistic manner. It's about the culture, it's about everything that we do. It's a culture piece that should be embedded at every level, every department and every action and interaction. The stories, the human experience that's flowing into policies and into the way we deliver care, I think it's just a, a hugely successful story and, and one that should be celebrated. It's become invaluable, it's sort of embedded within the culture and uh, can't really see us doing it in any other way.